Hi friends, hope you are having a great day. Uh, today we are going to explore how we can help Reebok to uh, reach his goal. Uh, as you would have seen in my previous videos, the uh, Reebok world is a very good tool to help us understand the concepts of uh, functions um, in uh, any language, mostly like Python or JavaScript. So in this case, in this example, uh, there is a maze and Reebok is uh, left uh, in some place and uh, the room is completely dark or the maze is completely dark and uh, the Reebok, we should help Reebok to reach it. Uh, his goal. Um, so, uh, as we know, like Reebok has only two functions available, and they are um, uh, move and turn left with respect to navigation. And he can actually uh, look, look, use these conditions if right is clear, front is clear, and uh, uh, once he reaches the goal, uh, that goal function will actually become true. So, let us first uh, make uh, en enable turning right for Reebok by defining turn right. For turning right, we actually can turn right by uh, turning left three times. So so uh, first, Reebok, once he uh, turns left and uh, turns left again, he will be facing his backward direction. And then if he turns left again, then it is like turning right. So mm, now, now that we have created turn right function, now we can go ahead with our code where we are going to look if Reebok is at the goal or not, while at, while not at goal. So it will this loop will uh, run until Reebok uh, reaches his goal. Only when he reaches his goal, uh, at goal function will t become uh, um, true. And uh, uh, overall not at goal will become false and uh, the control will come out after the loop. So if we are left in a dark room, we, we will try and try to choose one direction and uh, and try try to hit the wall and uh, follow a one direction until we uh, hit the door so we will follow the same approach here so we will try to click, see if uh, right is clear uh, if uh, right is clear if right is clear then we will try and uh, turn right and when Reebok turns right, he does not move automatically. So we need to make sure that he moves his step so that we can proceed to the next uh, step. So if, for example, if right is not uh, clear, um, then we cannot turn right. Instead, we can move forward. So, but to move forward, we have to ensure that the front is clear. So we will check if front is clear and we will move. We will ask Reebok to move forward by one step. And if both the cases are not uh, satisfying, then we will turn left. So this would help Reebok to reach his destination. Let's see how our code works. This uh, worked pretty fine in this scenario. Let us try a couple of more examples. So in this case, Reebok is version got shifted to a different uh, place. Let us try now. So even though as, as a human, we can just uh, try and go uh, straight and uh, um, reach the goal. Uh, if you remember, the room is dark. So we are not sure like whether uh, if we can go straight and hit the um, door. So uh, we Reebok has to traverse through all, the, all this uh, path to uh, get to the goal. So he's looking for the right and he's following the right wall. And now he's returning back to reach his goal. He's following the right border. Great, Reebok is able to reach his goal. Let us try for one more scenario. 
now the reba, reba position got shifted uh, to this position let's try as reba moves forward we can see the control uh, um, flowing through different steps in our program so now the reba actually got into a loop as we see uh, Rebog is uh, uh, following the right uh, if right is clear and he's turning right and moving forward and uh, since we can see that in this particular square all the rights are clear so here the right is clear so he's taking right and he came here right move forward Turning, moving forward, and um, the right is clear. Turning right he is not at goal, and he's turning right, and uh, he's th this is going on uh, on and on. If we see the step count of thousand or more than thousand, it implies that uh, Rebog has got into an infinite loop. So he got into the square, and he's constantly um, making the right turns to help him. Uh, flip out of this we can actually uh, make sure that if a friend is clear we can move him forward by a couple of steps and then uh, use this um, uh, entire process so let me stop and see if we can fix this So now we will try and execute our code. So the issue is like we have uh, a couple of squares um, where he can actually struck up into the infinite loop. So to make sure that he comes out of the square, um, we are trying to move him by one step and then follow this process so that he's, uh, he's not getting into a square here or a square here. So now we, if we remember he has gone into the position where he was there in the pre prior example and now he has come out of it successfully. Cool. Let me let us try one more time. So there are only ninety four steps in this case. Um, Perfect. Hope you enjoyed this. Let me try one more try time and then we can uh, stop this. So as long as we are seeing uh, any step count less than 1000, uh, we can be assured like Rebog is not getting into an infinite loop and he's able to um, stop at 180 second step. Cool. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.